Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese Dramaland in the past week. Let's start with dramas that have gone live or will go live very very soon. Today, as this video goes out on April the 22nd, a drama should have just gone live on the platform iQiyi, Jie, The Long Season, a contemporary drama led by Qin Hao, Fan Wei, Li Gengxi, Liu Yitie, also including other very well-known actors such as Liu Ling and Chen Minghao. The drama is done by the same creative team led by the director Xin Shuang, who has previously produced one of the most successful series in the history of iQiyi's Light On, The Bad Kids. It is not super obvious or very easy to get what this drama is about if you only look at the trailer, but you kind of get the vibe of what this might be. Personally, I decided to go for the not gonna read into any background material about the story beforehand and going in blind tomorrow when this drama airs to see what it's like. I want to see if it can surprise me and I don't really want to get spoiled. Then one day after that, on Sunday 23rd, we already have two dramas that have just announced. They are both going live on the day. One is the drama I've mentioned last week, Wu Mian Zhi Jing on Mango Television, Desire Catcher led by Xin Yunlai and Zheng Yecheng. They've released their title song, ending song, MV. They've added even more materials during this week. Let's see, two male leads, criminal cases, police drama. If this is gonna be 2023's under the skin. Then the other one is the Wang Hedi, Zhou Ye led Ming Guo setting drama. Originally named Woman the Xinan Lian Da, Our Southwest General University. Now the title is officially changed to Zhang Huo Zhong the Qingchun, Youth in the Flames of War. And this drama will go on Jiangsu Satellite Television, iQiyi, and Youku both platforms at the same time. Because this drama was actually filmed quite a few years ago, sort of at both actors' earlier stages of performances, both of them probably now would have improved a little bit compared to when this drama was filmed, but not saying that it wouldn't actually be a really good drama. <laughs> We're gonna find it out on Sunday very soon, and again, this is definitely a drama I will have to check out. So it looks like I have a crazy weekend ahead of me to check out too many new dramas at the same time. As if that's not enough, we also have two more dramas that are highly likely to go live before the end of April, although at the point I'm sitting down making this video on Friday, they haven't said yet when, and maybe it's gonna air before I even make my next week's video. These two dramas are first a contemporary drama that is the third time collaboration working together of the male and female lead. Wang Ziqi, Wang Yuwen led contemporary Metropolis romantic drama, Ni Gei Wo De Xihuan, The Love You Give Me. It's gonna be a Tencent drama and they've just released trailers and promotional materials this week and looks like they are just aiming for putting this thing out ASAP. If you've watched their previous contemporary drama that I really liked, but it didn't do super well, it's low budget, sometimes looking pretty ridiculous, but I still really adored that drama and loved the chemistry between these two Wangs. And then Wang Ziqi also has a drama with Su Xiaotong, also it's a second time collaboration that may come out soon. So both pairs have actually uh, worked multiple times together. I think Tencent owns both of them, Wang Ziqi Su Xiaotong and Wang Ziqi Wang Yuwen pairing. Then the other drama would be airing on iQiyi if it airs, which I think it's gonna happen very soon, before the end of this month, 90% of the possibility. Finally, the parrot drama, The Ingenious One, led by Mao Xiaotong, Chen Xiao, and it's a Ming Dynasty setting involving wuxia, involving probably politics, but also quite a bit of revenge story. They've officially released new trailers this week, also other promotional materials. It finally gives you a picture of what the story is like. Instead of previously, they really only released very short clips to give you the look of it, the costumes and then what the uh, you know vibe of it is like, but totally not telling you what the story is. This time you can see the main leads through line in this trailer that looks like a very close to airing date type of trailer. Highly likely before I make my next week's video, 
it already is on air. And if that happens, it's definitely something I will watch. I mean, I'm more than happy to do that because looking at all five projects, they're all very different and I actually look forward to all of them. So can't wait. I think at least one out of these five will be a good one. If not, that would be truly sad. Then we have a couple more dramas at different stages of production. In no particular order, first, during this week, 不完美, 受害人, Imperfect Victim. I've talked about multiple times, contemporary drama led by Zhou Xun, Lin Yun, and Liu Yijun. Just the cast makes me want to watch this drama. Has just got the license to air, so it has passed censorship. It's already depending on when the platform wants to release it. Then we have a drama that has just wrapped shooting during this week. Hopefully we can see it before the end of this year. It's a contemporary one, so usually post-production is shorter. Title is Xiao Fu Qi, as husband, as wife. And the thing that excites me is the cast. It features two leading couples. It will be Yin Tao pairing up with Guo Jingfei, Qi Xi pairing up with Zhang Yunlong. <laughs> I haven't heard any news about this project before, but just by looking at the cast, these four people, two couples, a contemporary drama about marriage. I can't wait. They each have such unique qualities of theirs and in my opinion, all good actors given the right kind of roles. So I will keep an eye out for this project and I sincerely hope it will show up in 2023. Then we have a much familiar type of drama happening started shooting during this week, which is a period idol romantic drama, Hua Jian Ling, English title In Blossom, and it's led by Liu Xueyi and Ju Jingyi. That's that. I mean, it's a Ju Jingyi led period drama. You kind of already know what you should be expecting, where she would look exactly like what she looks like in every other drama she's been in. Same makeup, same hairline powders, same hairstyle, same everything. You probably can intercut that with every other drama she's been in. And you wouldn't even be able to tell uh, which clip is from which drama. Then to wrap up this week's video, a few hours before I sat down, something just happened in China, which is Beijing Film Festival and the red carpet of that event. So I'll put a couple of pictures up here for you to see the stars of the night. Another red carpet and this time uh, they managed to walk through it without getting interrupted <laughs> midway. So people did get to show their styles and their dresses and their suits and their shining glitters on them. Nini is still killing it like she always does at any events. She's just such a perfect person for fashion in the acting world. Then Gaoyi's dress is also really, really killing it. One of the best things that has happened to Chinese drama land so far 2023 since the beginning of Year of Rabbit is the success of the knockout drama that made Gaoyi and Zhang Songwen much more well known now, definitely higher paid now and moved up the couple of steps up the ladder of fame and whatever. So I'm really happy for these actors getting more recognition. From now on, they probably will have much more freedom and we will have more interesting projects to look at in the future. That should be the end of this week's video. Thank you for watching Up New X. If you want to hear me talk more about April dramas mostly, you can head over to my Thursday live stream. This time it's shorter, it's two hours, not two hours and a half. I am making an effort to make my live streams shorter. Please take care, I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.